Hi guys, and welcome back to another video game with the powers. I'm Jake. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing for the new, brand new game uh, from Kickstarter called Tavers and Dragons. Okay, Tavers and Dragons is coming to you from Lord Raccoon Games. Also, want to give a shout out to probably some of the designers and artists in this game. We have Quentin and Mark Vernet, uh, Baptiste Machar and Nastia Lent. If I mispronounce her names, I gravely apologize. But yes, Taverns and Dragons, okay? This is one of the many games that we have yet to uh, unbox, and so I figured that i just go ahead and bust it open myself. Uh, this game was actually uh, backed. I wanted to back this game. I'm not sure how Sierra is going to like it, so we'll have to see. But let's talk about Taverns and Dragons, okay? Uh, some of the things that drew me uh, to this game, and I'll go ahead and throw it down on here while we talk about it, is as you can see the wonderful little meeples here, these cute little meeples you'll see when they pop out uh, on the silk screen print uh, drew that to me. This overall fantasy theme that we have here as well as the components and really the price. So um, I had originally uh, decided not to back it on Kickstarter and I was just interested, and I think, I can't remember what else uh, was going around at the time of this that I backed instead, uh, but there was a couple other games that I had chose to back instead of Taverns and Dragons, and then I just kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, and coming back to it, and I was like, I gotta commit, okay? Uh, the price point of the Kickstarter edition actually was really good. It was only 45 euros, which is about 50 US dollars. And then I also threw in these nice metal coins, these glorious metal coins. But let's take a look at Taverns and Dragons. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around on the back here uh, so we can see. So it says, the contest of the taverns is about to begin. Attract the mightiest heroes, hunt dangerous dragons, and collect rare ingredients to cook the most mouth-watering dishes for the king, all right? So my understanding of the game is essentially you're kind of like a tavern owner or a tavern keeper, and uh, you are trying to make the most, the most wonderful dishes, and so you're gonna have like a sheet of, uh, of your little dishes area or something like that and I'm assuming there's going to be cards for recipes that you're trying to collect ingredients in order to make them and uh, kind of go from kind of go from there and like hire dragons and we'll see but let's take a look right off the bat the box art here is beautiful a nice pristine uh, matte uh, finish linen finish to uh, this box here so that's the top of the box we got nothing on the inside. All right, we got the Kickstarter exclusive. So here's everything that comes in the Kickstarter exclusive uh, gift, guys. So we got another, a goblin slash druid board. We got three standees for a goblin, a wyvern, wyvern and a golem. We got 14 item cards. We got 20 tokens, uh, one hero, and four herald apocalypse cards. We got 13 solo cards and 28 quest cards. We also have this solo mode here. So it says, the king chose your tavern during his last visit. You've been enjoying your well-deserved break following your brilliant victory. But a new business has recently opened in an old nearby mage tower. With each passing day, this tavern mysteriously attracts more and more of your customers. And your minions have brought worrying news of forest fires and shadows in the sky. Along with rumors that a golem, supposed to have disappeared thousands of years ago, has been spotted in the area. It's time to fire up the hearth again as you honor your tavern at stake. All right, love Love a solo mode here, so it tells you this is the whole setup for solo. Here's a couple modules that they have as well. All right, all right, moving on to the rule book. Uh, 16 page rule book here. All right, taking a look at all of the, uh, we'll just take a couple flashes through the rule book and then I'm gonna set this in front of me uh, so we can see uh, what is going on with all of these resources modules let's see if we get any more flavor text uh let's see what it said in seven days the king will arrive in the city the contest of the taverns is about to begin to determine who will have the honor of hosting the grand royal feast uh who's that trapadors can't read i'm sorry Travelers, jugglers, and cheerful customers will crowd the streets to support their favorite taverns whose minions will be sent on a race for the rarest ingredients and the most succulent cuts of dragon. Which tavern will attract the mightiest heroes and cook the most mouth-watering dishes to win this year's title? You know what this is really giving me vibes of? 
<laughs> it's actually funny that I backed another game like this that's currently on Kickstarter right now. Uh, Critter Kitchen, right? Now on this camera, guys, you will see a playmat uh, right there. Please ignore that playmat. That's a spoiler for another game we just got in. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, and do that. Let me get the Taverns and Dragons set up. So look at these nice standees of a Fire Dragon. We got a Crystalline Dragon. Uh, looks like a Gecko of some sort. I can't tell. Uh, water Dragon, Ice Dragon. So pretty cool looking standees. Uh, gold Dragon right there. Nothing on the back. All right. Uh, we got some mushroom ingredients. These look like mushrooms, uh, eggs, ham. So these are going to be certain ingredients tokens. Uh, these would be the coins. But like I said, I got these beautiful metal coins that will bust out here uh, in a second. So just a bunch of tokens here. So we got 66 ingredients tokens, uh, which are mainly right here. So we have 15 magic mushrooms. We got 14 wild plants, 14 magma spices, 13 dragon eggs, and 10 dragon meat. So those are the mush. Uh, those are plants. Uh, those are plants there. These are mushroom spices, dragon eggs, and meat. All right. Uh, we're doing a deep dive into this, taking a lot more time with some of these unboxings. Um, okay. Uh, these are other components. So we got some reroll runes uh, right here. We got some wound tokens. All right, what else? We got some forge tokens right here. Uh, these look like dungeon tokens is what it says. We got closed tokens, we got the coins, and we got some meat, all right? Nothing on the back here, all right? We got some other, this is the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. The traveler board, the three extra standees, the goblin board, I'm sorry, and the three extra standees and some extra components. So that's what that Kickstarter stuff uh, we were looking at earlier right there all right this looks like it's the board uh let's go ahead and bust out this board first and then we'll continue to dive into everything but so far so good i, I, I like it so far again like i said what i'm really starting to enjoy, enjoy a little bit more than miniatures i think with some games is just the uh standees the standees bring that extra art um, to it. Now this does look like it's going to be a pretty big size board here. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can see it, uh, full in screen. Maybe have to scoot it up just a little bit. All right. So that should be, uh, in screen fully. So this is the board. Uh, we got some cards that are going to go here, cards over here. We got some little spots around the board, some magma piles, all right? You guys enjoy that. It is not double-sided, as you might have seen uh, while I was messing around with it. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and lead the board out. Because after this unboxing, guys, I'll be doing the, trying the solo, the solo mode. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in the middle, and let's take a look at some more components. So... Uh, right away, I'm going to assume we got five tavern boards right here, which is five characters, okay? So we have Inn of the Drooling Pig. All right, we got the Griffin's Nest. All right, that's pretty cool. We got the Kraken's Galley. All right, we got Inn of the Blazing Unicorns. All right, the Thirsty Trolls Den. All right, and these are going to be our dragon boards. So we have the Polar. All right, the Titan, man, uh, the Terror, the Greedy, the Guardian, the Celestial, oh, that looks cool, and the Torch, all right? So those are the Dragons, we got the Player Boards, or the Tavern Boards, all right, here we go, I see them, I see them in the little baggies, guys. Already, this is one of the main. Oh, we got some dice. Uh, let's take some dice out. All right, three black dice. Maybe looks like combat dice. So three dice. Nice, cool uh, marble finish, gloss finish to them. We'll keep them over there. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we got some other dice. We got some other dice. So these are the action dice. So these dice that I just showed you here, guys. These are the hunt dice. Uh, three hunt dice 
We got a whole bunch of action dice and uh, let's just pull some of these out from the bag. And again, look how cool, like marble, marble finish to some of these dice. I'm gonna take this, uh, this pink or purple, I guess, whatever you wanna call it. But just look at the details of this. Uh, just cool, I mean, crisp marble finish uh, to that. All right, so these are gonna be the player dice, uh, action dice five in each color in the wonderful bag, all right? Moving on. Now we're finally getting to it. The main reason I backed the game, or one of the reasons I backed the game, is these hilarious, these hilarious looking uh, meeple, meeple tokens here. You guys gotta see some of these. Like, look at how funny, this, this one right here, this is it. <laughs> He's got the meeple with the boots. The meeple with the boots on, that is so funny. And uh, some have eyes, some don't have eyes. Uh, oh no, he has eyes, you can barely see the eyes, but the eyes stand out more on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring some of these over so you can take a look. Uh, but it, this is just so funny to me. It's, you know, he's just like the little meeple with the boots and he's like running around and all that. Uh, so we got that meeple, you got another meeple with like a shield and a helmet. All right, shield and a helmet. And then we got a meeple, looks like he's carrying some spices. Uh, spices to me it's just hilarious I don't know I find it funny uh, that they kind of look like that it's just it's just cool I mean it's it's a cool fun way uh, <laughs> that they did uh, did these meeples all right and I, I just makes me laugh it just makes me laugh all right so those are the cool uh, meeples the silk screen printed meeples there all right let's continue to dive into it so we got a uh, drawstring bag where we're gonna be drawing stuff out of. Okay, we got some energy gems. Take a look at one of these little energy gems right there. Uh, just standard plastic energy gem. All right. As if like energy gems are standard. It's a standard plastic resource. Uh, these look like markers. So victory point markers, stuff like that. We got the standees for the standees, or we got the stands for these standees. We got damage markers uh, right there, plastic. Uh, what are these? Um, these look like location tiles, all right? And these look like location tiles. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these over here to the other side and we can take a look Look at these location tiles. All right, so again, I have no clue. Uh, they do have a front side and a back side. All right, so we'll show one at a time. Front side and a back side. Okay, we look like some Coliseum pillars and a book. All right, monolith stone with a rainbow and a caravan and then we got one more we got a campfire and we got some mushrooms mushroom portals okay so those are all of the uh the location tiles uh location tiles in there and then we got looks like a bunch of cards well not really a bunch of cards we got two stacks of cards so these look like they're gonna be recipe cards mission cards and that's about it in this deck. So let me go ahead and uh, bust open this pack really quickly while I continue to ramble. But man, look, everything looks really nice so far. Uh, the components look great. The artwork looks great. Uh, I'm excited to kind of dive into this game and see like, is this going to be like a... You know, is this gonna be like a resource game? Am I try well, obviously I'm trying to get resources to complete recipes, but like adding in the ability to fight dragons and get meat from dragons, cause it looked like they had eggs or something like that. Uh, that looked pretty unique and cool as well. All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's split some of this stuff up. All right, so uh, these are mission cards. We'll go ahead and leave the mission cards out. We don't really need to see those. We got some item cards here. Uh, I'll take some of those over. We can take a look at these. Um, and we got some recipes. So I'm just gonna show off a couple of these recipes, guys, and then we'll go to the items. All right, so this is what a recipe is gonna look like. So I'm assuming 
that uh, that's going to be the recipe, and those are the victory points that you will get uh, from the recipe. So this is the Magic Mushroom Medley, all right? Uh, we have an elven toast topped with mushrooms and draconic roots. All right, and let's go one more dragon egg pancakes with a few petals as garnish. Let me see if there's any. Yeah, so they get higher, 14, uh, 14 victory points for uh, dragon roast served with an ancient dwarven wine to satisfy any hunger. All right, uh, we got a 17, a 15, a 12, 18, woo, 22. All right, so they have different victory point values. Uh, for these, uh, what is it, recipe cards. All right, let's take a look at some of these items. We got the Hero's Horn, Gauntlet of Power, Winged Boots, Fairy in a Jar, Counterfeit Fairy Dust. We got a Shellfish, Gelatinous Cube, Glaive of Energy, a Fork, a Life Potion, Sandglasses of Time, Bottomless bag, amulet of luck, a last bottle of rum, and a draconic cookbook. All right, those are the item cards that are in the game. All right, all right, last thing, last thing here. We're going to take a look at some of these cards. Uh, so these should be hero cards, event cards, and player aid cards. All right, so let me just... Uh, Let's go through all the heroes in the game. Oh, that's a lot of heroes. We might find, uh, maybe those are heroes. What are these? Um, it doesn't say, those are like bad guys. Conquest cards, that might be solo mode stuff. We got some event cards here that'll trigger events. And then um, event cards, not sure. The, that might be solo stuff. Solo mode stuff, we got player aid cards, uh, and we got some events maybe? Oh no, that might be the, yeah, I think that's the solo and expansion stuff uh, over there. Okay, uh, well, I've got a stack of cards here with some heroes, so let me just uh, take a few of these out. We'll do a couple of these and show them over here on the uh on the camera so we got the uh all right so we got a light keeper all right we got a wolf blade all right we got the fairy master i'm assuming that's going to be the cost there in the upper right hand corner that's how many victory points they're going to give you that's the cost uh maybe or what type they are they're good at maybe and then their effects all right so those guys are just some of the heroes uh, that are going to be in the game. Again, I'm not going to spoil everything. Uh, try, I'm going to do a solo play through uh, by myself off camera. And then I might try and get a solo play through in of the game at some point and see uh, how that goes. But all right, guys. Well, look. That is pretty much everything for Taverns and Dragons. The last thing uh, we're going to take a look at here is these beautiful, uh, beautiful metal coins. All right, let's take a look. Oh, man. Like, you hear that? Look at that. That's a beautiful sound right there. They're, these are nice and sturdy. Beautiful artwork on the back artwork on the front all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this unboxing of taverns and dragons again this is a brand new game that just fulfilled within the last couple of months this is coming to you from lord raccoon games uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and going over all the components and some of the stuff in the game uh, if you did like this content please help us out drop a like please subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more awesome content and as always guys y'all have a great one bye